Hello. In this tutorial, we will discuss about how to configure STM32 Cube MX ID if you want to make a project in Key MDK software. So let's begin. This is STM32 Cube MX software which is installed in my PC. Uh, you have to go on File, then uh, New Project. The IC I am using is on discovery port that is STM32F407 series under that STM407VG is the IC that is available on my port. Okay, you may select the IC according to your port requirements. If I go in a block diagram, I can visualize the details about the IC. These are the documents if you want to learn more about this IC. So once you have selected the IC, now click on the start project. Yes, so this is a configuration window in which we have to select the pins there, functions according to our requirement. This is a IC which is available on reset. Okay, all pins are giving me a functionality on reset mechanism. Okay. On left side, uh, the category is given. If you want to configure any additional features, like for example, uh, I want to configure a timer, or if I want to configure any ADC, or if I want to configure any uh, UART communication or any SPA communication, I can use this section over Now, let's discuss about how to select the pin. So, if I zoom the IC, here are the pins and their peripherals are available. For example, if I want to use the same pin which is available on our uh, discovery board, that is a pin number 12, 13, 14 and 15 as an digital output, I have to select those pins as a DI out. Okay, how to select? If I click on let's say pin number 13, these are the options available. I can use the AFR, alternate function register in which apart from GPIO, which function I can use for that pin I can access over here. Okay, so for now, right now, my purpose is to save it as a GPIO in output. So I am enabling it. Just it has been pinned down over here. Pin number 14, again, I am using as a GPIO out. So from this IC, only these two pins are enough for my current requirement. So I have selected only. Right now, once this configuration is done, you may go to the clock configuration selection okay so this is a clock configuration selection in which we have to set few parameters for example sys clock this is a 16 megahertz default clock this is a system built-in clock okay now apart from that if you want to set any ahb over here to resolve it to a lower clock to increase the uh, your time frequency by using prescalar you can adjust the parameter here so once clock configuration is set go to the project manager and give the name to your project. So, I am giving the name to my project. Let's say try 3. Okay. And now, if you look over here in the toolchain mechanism, there are different options that are available in which I want to configure my project in PID or ARM MDK or Kill, etc. Okay. So, for our right now understanding purpose, I am want to generate the code for ARM MDK. So, I am selecting that parameter over here, tool chain, and now you have to click on the generate code. Yes. So, it is now making a code according to the current parameters that we have received over here. Click on the open project. The project has been open over here. On left side, all the options are available according to CMC standard. Okay. The drivers, their APIs according to HAL hardware abstraction layer all things are present over here so in this section main.c is my file in which i want to write the code if you go down if we consider the normal mechanism of kill mdk every peripheral we have to set manually but now because of cube mx ide i am directly enabling the clock as well as i am setting the gpio just go to the functions of those parameters i am just scrolling down these are the settings for system clock and yes, this is the GPIO setting. So, we have not written anything over here. These are the 
predefined functions already generated by using cubemx id so pin number 13 and 14 set as a output on reset those are in the pull down mode with low frequency these are the default settings available now which code i want to generate is already done now customization in that code will be according to the user requirement and that will be you have to write in the int main okay so in int main initialization of hardware is done hardware fashion layer is done and now in y1 whatever the piece of code i want to write as infinite time i am going to put it over here so i want to blink the led this is the code for blinking an led it's very simple hr hardware abstraction layer for gpi you write the port name the pin number and which value i am going to write over here logical one okay simply turn on the both leds over here set the output turn off the both leds over here this is simple code so just rebuild it yes now i am going to download it into the hardware yes code has been downloaded and now if you want to run the code just reset it once i am going to reset the hardware Okay, now code is downloaded and now I am going to reset the hardware. Yes, now you can see the LEDs are started to blink. LED number 13 and 14. Yes. So in this way, uh, we have uh, created one simple LED blinking program using CubeMX IDE but which has been configured for doing rest of the part using the key lmdk software thank you so much